The topic of IHARP, or the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, has sparked countless debates, both locally in Alaska and internationally. Let's delve into this mystery and unravel the pros and cons of IHARP in Alaska. Firstly, the marvels of scientific research and the pursuit of knowledge. IHARP, a program primarily designed to analyze the ionosphere, provides a wealth of information about this lesser-known layer of our atmosphere. It allows scientists to better understand phenomena such as the northern lights and radio communication, which can be crucial for various sectors, from aviation to military operations. Moreover, IHARP has contributed to local Alaska economics. The facility employs a number of local residents, bolstering the economy and providing job opportunities in a region where they might otherwise be scarce. However, every coin has two sides, and IHARP is no exception. The program has been the subject of various conspiracy theories, some suggesting it's used for weather control, mine manipulation, even causing natural disasters. While most of these theories lack scientific evidence, the fact that IHARP is partly funded by the military has fueled these speculations, causing unease among some segments of the population. Additionally, the environmental impact of IHARP is a concern. The high-frequency radio waves it uses could potentially disrupt wildlife, particularly bird migrations. Although research is ongoing, the potential for ecological disruption cannot be entirely ruled out. To sum up, iHarp in Alaska is a complex issue. On one hand, it's a beacon of scientific exploration, contributing to our understanding of the world and providing economic benefits. On the other, it's shrouded in controversy and potential environmental concerns. So, is iHarp in Alaska good or bad? The answer to that question largely depends on one's perspective. As with many things in life, it's not entirely black and white. But one thing is clear, the dialogue around iHarp is as charged as the ionosphere it studies. Remember, knowledge is power, and it's only through informed discussions that we can shape the future of projects like iHarp. So keep asking questions, keep seeking answers, and most importantly, keep an open mind. The world is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled, and it's through understanding these complexities that we truly progress. Whether I harp is a step forward or a step back is a decision that each of us as informed individuals should make. And with that, our exploration into the enigma of I harp in Alaska comes to an end. But remember, the journey of discovery is never over. So keep your curiosity alive and stay tuned for more intriguing discussions. Thank you for watching our video on I harp in Alaska. We hope you found this exploration as enlightening as we did. If you found this video informative, please hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Your support helps us continue our mission to inform, educate, and spark curiosity. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We're constantly working to bring you the most intriguing and complex topics in an accessible and engaging format. We would love to hear your thoughts on iHarp. Do you think it's a step forward in scientific exploration or are the environmental concerns too great? Do you think there's a middle ground we haven't explored? Please leave a comment below. Your perspective is invaluable to us and it contributes to the ongoing discussion around complex issues like iHarp. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Remember, the journey of discovery is never over, so keep your curiosity alive and as always, keep asking questions. Your engagement with our content is what drives us to delve deeper and explore further. The comments section below our videos has always been a treasure trove of diverse perspectives and insightful thoughts. Today, we want to highlight some of the most interesting viewpoints shared by you, our audience, about iHarp. Firstly, many of you consider iHarp as a significant step forward in scientific exploration. You appreciate the potential of this project to advance our understanding of the ionosphere and its effects on our planet. This optimism toward scientific progress is truly inspiring. On the other side, a considerable number of you have expressed concerns about the environmental implications of iHarp. You worry about the potential harm to the ozone layer and the long-term effects it might have on our climate. These concerns remind us that every step forward must be taken responsibly, keeping our planet's well-being in mind. Interestingly, there's also a group among you who believe in finding a middle ground. You suggest that while the scientific exploration should continue, it should not be at the expense of our environment. This balanced perspective is a testament to the thoughtful and informed audience we are proud to have. These diverse views on iHarp not only enrich our understanding of the topic but also remind us of the importance of continuous dialogue. So, keep sharing your thoughts, keep asking questions and together, we'll keep exploring the unexplored.